Step up, Rudy. Step up, Rudy. Step up. Use it. We got to get some rhythm on offense. We're just kind of broken up sometimes. We got to get into a rhythm. Find something that we're doing. Go, run, run, run. You got to be ready to take that angle shooter. Be ready. Oh, it's cool. I love, I love Coach Hollins. Uh, half of the time, I don't be want to hear nothing he got to say, <laughs> uh, simply because he's right. <laughs> half of the time, well, more than more than half of the time, he's right. You no, know, he doesn't hold anything back, and you know he's definitely gonna let you know when you're doing something right, when you're doing something wrong. He never sugarcoats anything, and you know, being a player, you know, you, you don't always want to hear you know the good thing that you're doing. You know, you want to hear the bad. Um, you know, you want to hear what you can work on. And you know he always wants you to get better and better. He's done the things I, I asked of him when I came, when he came in. I said just you know I want you to be um, you know really strict. I want you to yell at me you know every time I do something wrong. I want I want to get better and I feel like I need to be pushed and um, and he did that and he's done it you know to this day. As a player, you need that that kind of coach you know that hard nosed coach is going to tell tell you like it is. Not nobody's going to you know rub you on your back, pat you on your back you know. What I like about Coach Hollins, he got his little ways of getting at you. It's, it's, it's kind of subliminal, but you kind of know he's talking about you. Um, he bring that film out, and, uh, and, and boy, does he get at you. But I love it because it brings the best out of me, because next time I get back out on the court, I just want to show him that, hey, Coach, you won't be able to talk about this little incident again. You won't be able to talk about this again. And just little things he picks at, but it only brings the best out of me, and I like that out of a coach who can actually sit there and tell his players what they're doing wrong. Me and Coach Hollins, uh, we have a great relationship. Um, uh, I, you know, at first, I uh, was a little hesitant um, just because uh, he, he has a strong personality and, and, and so do I. And, uh, you know, you kind of uh, just, you know, I kind of was just, you know, I try to stay out his way and, you know, hopefully he'll try to stay out my way. That's kind of how I looked at it. but. Um, you know, as we grew, uh, I've always had respect for him because uh, winning was important. Uh, working hard uh, in order to win uh, was very important, and uh, he was very adamant about that. And um, you know, I, I respected that because that's how I was brought up, planned, and, and thought about the game. And so I've always respected uh, his uh, perspective about the game. And you know, I'll do whatever he uh, would ask me to do on the court because I know uh, what, what he's asking is what's best for the team. A coach that, that trusts you so much on the court um, that you know you have a great on-court relationship, but off the court you have just as good a relationship. Um, it, it means it means just as much. So um, you know he's been a great a great coach for all of us, and uh, really helped turn this organization around. That's my guy, Coach Hollins. He's led them to where they'd never been driven them toward success, and watched them grow. While grit and grind has become the mantra, it's the style of play that fulfills his vision. Lionel Hollins provided the direction, but the success of this team lies in their willingness to be led. Just a little bit better each and every day, a little focus today. Go, go, Mike, go, look out! Good job, CA. Attack him, It was disappointing when Zach went down. It was a huge um, void mentally when he went down. I think everybody was on the same page as I was that, you know, maybe we couldn't do it. Or as the fans were, I don't never think we couldn't do it. I, I think. I was thinking what everybody else would, would, would might have been thinking, but I think some of our players felt the same way, and we just regrouped. We got a win here, we got a win there, and then it, it started shifting, and we got on a roll. I think we won seven straight, and they started believing that they could win uh, the way we were playing, and, and, and my mantra has always been, we're a team, and we're only as good as the, the weakest link, and uh, they started buying into that mantra and uh, believing that we could continue if we played together. I don't think there's anything new or anything special. It's, it's just having a, a plan and being consistent with what you're saying. We say the same thing every day since I've been here. And sometimes I say, hey, you heard me say this from day one. And they'll start laughing or I'll say something, they'll start laughing because they have heard it a lot. 
And uh, I think that uh, that's, that's one of the keys. For me, you know, I'm satisfied and confident in who I am as a person and what I've achieved both as a player and, uh, you know, in my career, you know, the winning, all the stuff that went on, that I know that it takes players to win. And I'm just trying to show them what they need to do and push them to the level that they need to go to achieve what they want to achieve. Everybody wants to win, but there's a way to do it and there's a work ethic to it. And I'm just trying to show them that and then they have to go do it. And it's their time, it's for their success, it's not for my success, it's for them because when we win, it'll be about them. It'll be the fact that they've gone out and done the things that were necessary to get it done.